YouTube, it's your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video, man. Y'all know what it is when y'all step in the building. Smash that like button, hit the notification bell. So, woo, boy, we got another interesting subject, man. But y'all know the assignment. Smash that like button. Let's talk about it. So, this said, man, we got to talk about Hassan Campbell blasting Math Hopper. Now, everything that I'm saying in this video is allegedly in entertainment purposes only. But anyway, Mav Hopper just interviewed Crazy Legs. If you don't know who Crazy Legs is, he was a part of the Zulu Nation, a part of the Rocksteady group. You know what I mean? Forefather. Allegedly, he was a part. He is the one that created breakdancing. Y'all can get in the comments and let me know if I'm wrong. I'm not from New York. I'm not from Bronx River. Somebody from New York can get in the comments and let me know. But anyway, what was interesting, Hassan Campbell had the nerve to call this nigga the Latino R. Kelly. Now listen, I don't know what's been going on with the Zulu Nation, but they got a whole lot of nasty work going on over there. Now I did my research on Crazy Les, right? And I checked out what Hassan Campbell was saying, and Hassan Campbell was saying that he got banned from the Olympics. Said that the Olympics wanted Crazy Legs to come up there to perform, and once the people heard about Crazy Legs about to, about to be in the Olympics, they wrote a petition. You feel me? Like 24 people wrote a petition or whatever, and they banned him because of his allegations. Now, the allegation that this man got he got essay charges on women. They saying that this dude been sending pictures to women of his private parts, allegedly. You feel me? But this is what I read. You feel me? I'm not going by what Hassan Campbell said. I did my own research too. But that's what they were saying. And they were saying a lot of people from the Rocksteady crew, they resigned from the group once they, once they heard about, you know, this nigga doing all this freaky stuff. And the crazy thing about this situation, all these niggas in cahoots, well, he is in cahoots with African Bambada. Now, Bambada, since, ever since Beast Stinger done free African, African Bambada from these allegations, I guess the rest of these Zulu Nation dudes is about to come out like ants. But they need to just throw the whole Zulu Nation in the trash because who wants to acknowledge a group that's been essaying children and essaying women. You feel me? Like, I heard that they supposed to be coming with this hip-hop museum, and we already know once the hip-hop museum get put up, they're going to have the Zulu Nation, and they're probably going to have the Rocksteady crew also. Now, the thing about how son Campbell, why he's so mad, he's saying that Ever since him and Mav Hopper fell out, like Mav Hopper really trying to destroy him because he interviewing niggas that's supposed to be his enemy. He feeling some type of way. Now, I'll be feeling the same way too because if these niggas is known for being monsters and ain't nobody trying to put them in jail, of course I'm going to feel some type of way if the nigga that I was cool with end up giving him a platform and he should feel kind of crazy or feel some type of way for even giving this man an interview with this crazy work that he got on his name and i read i read the apology that he made because this dude actually admitted to this essay allegations he admitted to it and the only thing that he could say is he was the, he was going through a dark a dog time and he was depressed man listen going through depression and all that that don't make you essay nobody that don't make you send no pictures to no women it don't make you do nothing goofy you feel me you just you decided to do that on your own and now i see why her son camera feels some type of way about the zulu nation but the thing is he ain't trying to shake nothing he don't want to see african bambada go to jail he don't want to see street justice. So I know he feel the same thing about crazy legs. But me, if I know somebody that's doing some sick junk like this, and, and according to High Son Campbell, he's saying that Bambada done did this to several children. If I know it's a cat that did something like that, man, 
I'm not finna I'm not finna wish no success on him. He deserved to go to jail like the rest of the pedophiles. But y'all get in the comments and let me know how y'all feel. How y'all feel about Hassan Camel blasting Math Hoffa for giving the interview with Crazy Legs, aka the Latino R. Kelly man. Y'all know who it is, the latch out the door and it's on the floor. The other half of it's time for that culture for the street podcast. I'm gone.